Well, I'm up to something crazy yet functional again. A new project, but this one didn't take that long. Only about four hours. I guess you can call it the craziest lawnmower you ever saw. It's, it's completed. It's got no handle, no wheels. It's got some more mods than that. It's got a great big chute on it. The end. It's all welded on, and I'll show you what's underneath. Ta-da! Two blades. And I've sharpened a lot wider cutting edge on them. Each one has like a six inch cutting edge now. So, as you can imagine, something's going to be coming down that chute. I've welded up all other ancillary pockets. No longer needed. Taken off the chute on the back, welded that plate in. Now I'll show you how it's going to work. Ta-da! It fits on top of a barrel absolutely perfectly. I just happened to choose a lawnmower with exactly the right radius of deck as a 45 gallon drum has, or 55 if you're a USA person. So as you can guess it's kind of like a mulcher. I'll show you what I'm going to be mulching. Of course you can just stick your plant matter down there, set her on high, and chop her up as fine as you want depending how fast you push it down. Those four pins just keep it lined up on the barrel. And it's a six horsepower Briggs. Look at that lovely bunch of catnip. Now it all makes sense. Last year I debutted all that catnip by hand and it took two weeks, you know, debutting 3,000 pounds of catnip before I dried it. So this time it's got a chute. Shove it in. You see, and it's got more room down there for your hand to come down lower. Then when all the good stuff is taken off and chopped up nice and fine, all you've got is uh, stems and useless leaves at the back end. And that's going to save me so much time because this year I picked just as much catnip as last year. I'll show you. To make sure your catnip is nice and pure and clean, has no bad odors, this is a barrel that used to contain glycerin that's made from palm oil in the Philippines. So it's a food grade barrel. It's got a coating so it never corrodes. I've washed her thoroughly so there's absolutely no odor in there. But glycerin doesn't have an odor anyways. Part of that glycerin word got ground off. So your catnip will be clean and pure and free of any funny smells so that your loving kitty can enjoy every drop. Well the shop's a mess because I just got done making that contraption. But walk this way into the drying room or one of them and you can see this kind of useful room is all covered in catnip on the furniture, on the wood stove, everywhere you look. You see that school bus wasn't big enough after last year when I went big time and neither was the trailer so they're all stuffed with catnip too, I'll show you. Sweet, you should imagine what it smells like in here. Cool. Well this great big 53 foot trailer is completely filled with catnip. There's even catnip growing underneath of it from the seeds who blew out of the door last year. Yep, hundreds and hundreds or thousands of pounds in there, all stacked up high all the way so you can't even walk through it. Just about dry, ready to chop up. So back to the rest of my stash, hidden in the back 40. I'll show you what I mean. You can see all that bud just hanging out the windows. The Bud bus is just packed. Not even room for any students, not even to walk through or to stash a beer. Yep. Nice and crispy, ready to chop up tonight. Oh my god. They did stash a beer. Oh well. Can't blame them. Well, now let's go back to the shop and try that machine out and see how well it works. I hope it works well. <laughs> Spent four hours making it. Didn't cost nothing. 
the bus is still working fine. Had it out many times, so don't you worry. When I get time to make some fun videos, you'll get to see it playing and in action again. Inside now. All right, let's see what's in there. Cool. A few stems. But that's no big deal. Let's pick those out. Wow. Look at all that fine chopped bud. Feels so fluffy. Smell is so intense right now. Well, that's so much better than last year. <laughs> Redneck ingenuity again. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm ready to sell it, so keep watching, guys. Sweet. Happy kitties. Meow.